Question number 4C from the free response section is basically testing if you can apply the law, recognize and apply L'Hopital's rule. So with any limit, we need to first of all substitute in to see if we can evaluate the limit. So when we substitute in x equals 2, in the denominator we get 2 squared minus 4, which is 0. And then we have to work out the value of g of 2. So g of 2 is going to be defined by the area under the curve from 0 to 2 under the f function. Okay, so when we take a look at the area from 0 to 2, we can see that that area is going to be positive 2 and negative 2. So that net area is 0, so then we can see that g of 2 is equal to 0. So we have then the condition which allows us to apply L'Hopital's rule. So once we have that condition, we can apply L'Hopital's rule. And we can apply L'Hopital's rule to that, uh, to that notation. So we end up with the limit as x approaches 2. It's going to be g prime at 2. And remember that g prime is equivalent to the f function. And it's going to be 2x minus 2. Okay, so once I've applied L'Hopital's the first time, I can now evaluate. So in this case now, I want to know the slope of the g function at 2. Okay, so I'm just going to do this in a different color. So g prime at 2 is equal to the f value at 2. Well, the f value at 2 looks to be negative 4. So when I, when I evaluate this limit, this is going to be negative 4 over, when I substitute 2 in, I end up with 2 times 2 minus 2. So I end up with negative 4 over 4 minus 2. So the limit is equal to negative 2. So the limit of this function is equal to negative 2. We need to recognize that we need to apply L'Hopital's. We need to differentiate notation. And we need to be able to find that g value at 2 using the definite integral. Part D of this problem says, find the average rate of change on the interval of negative 4 to positive 2. Okay, so find that the the rate of change, the average rate of change, this is the average value function. 